Hello YouTube, um, I'm just going to give you uh, more of an insight of my horror movies. These are the ones I'm going to be showing you today. It is shelf one. These take a while to get through so I will get started and I will have three more installments of my horror collection so we'll get going. First one I got is Afterlife. Um, pretty cool film, quite enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more and more every time I watched it. Uh, Christina Ricci and Justin Long were great in this movie. Loved it. Next one is Arachnophobia. Oh, this movie freaked me out as a kid. Um, I'm not sure if you'd classify that as a horror, but and it scared me as a kid, so that's where it stays. Um, I got the Anaconda's collection, all four movies. Adam vs. Evil, pretty good movie, I reckon, but I reckon a lot of people didn't go much on it, but I did. Uh, Amusement. Quite enjoyed that one. Alphabet Killer. It's pretty cool. I love the remake of Apartment 1303 with Misha Barton. I thought it was fantastic. After. I found this very tacky. ATM. Quite enjoyed that one. And Soon the Darkness. It's pretty cool. Across the hall. I'm not sure if you'd actually classify that as a horror. Black Water. I love my crocodile and shark movies. And they're actually stuck up in a tree for most of the movie. Pretty cool Aussie movie. The Blair Witch 1. I'll just get that out of the way. The Blair Witch Book of Shadows. Bait, great Aussie shark movie, fantastic. I absolutely love this one. Have to get it on Blu-ray. The Breed. The Barons. I thought this movie was absolute shit. Um, yeah, did not like it whatsoever. Blackout. Uh, I like the cover, but the movie itself was uh, a bit disappointing for me. Babysitter Wanted. Bereavement. Uh, it took me a while to get into it, but after I watched it a few times, I actually quite enjoyed it. Backwards. I absolutely love this film. Um, I haven't heard good reviews when it came out, but I really enjoyed that. Beneath, an MTV movie. The remake of Black Christmas. Boo. I haven't seen this one since it came out. I don't remember much about it. Blessed with Heather Graham. Sorry about that. Breathing Room. Uh, quite very disappointed in that. Bloody Murder, the first one. I actually quite enjoyed these films. They're that cheesy. They're good, in my opinion. Bloody Murder 2. Um, they Crawl. I've never seen They Crawl, but I actually got this one for Buried Alive. Buried Alive 2. Boogeyman. Boogeyman 2. Boogeyman 3. Buried with Ryan Reynolds. Steel Sealed. The original Carrie. The Carrie... The Rage, The Bay, I found this movie great, um, I find it that it's, um, uh, what's the word, um, oh, I'll come back to it if I remember it, <laughs> Beneath the Darkness, I found this pretty good film with Dennis Quaid, um, I was quite surprised how good it was in my opinion, The Craft, Cry Wolf, Chain letter and choose still sealed. The cave. I didn't go much on this one, so Christina's house. I 
I remember first watching this one when it was on like a TV movie. I loved it. So, yeah, bought it. The children. The only thing that attracted me to this movie was the cover. It was pretty cool. Uh, the carriers. I actually um, quite like this one because um, Christopher Maloney, um, Detective Stabler out of SVU, he's in there. He, I wish he had a bigger role in it. Uh, the Crazies. Pretty good movie. Captivity. The Collector. Constantine. The Clinic. Love this movie. Um, great Aussie movie. It's just about um, pregnant women and then their babies get cut out and the only way they know which one's theirs, they got like a little tag in them so they have to cut them out to see which baby is theirs but not everyone survives. Cujo. Classic. Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever 2. Spring Break. Cursed. Um... Pretty good movie. The only reason why I got this one is just because Christina Ricci and Joshua Jackson's in it. Cabin in the Woods. It's got a um, holographic cover. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I thought the ending was really warped. I thought it wouldn't be so sci-fi at the end. But up until the end, I found it pretty cool. Uh, Cherry Falls. Um, it's quite an old movie, but... I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, Brittany Murphy's in it and yeah, it's pretty cool. I was quite impressed with that one. The Conjuring, a uh, new release here in Australia. Um, I thought this one would actually be better than what it was. I was quite disappointed with it. Creep, uh, I actually found that one pretty cool. Chernobyl Diaries, that was pretty cool. The Convent, that's how you say it. Dracula 2000 drive through oh, I found that one a bit um, tacky Dead Genesis um, I thought this one would be better than actually what it was I found this absolutely oh, devastating like, disgraceful in my book Drag Me to Hell Desperation 30 Days a Night, Dead Mary, The Descent, Descent Part 2, Disturbing Behaviour, I found this one, Diary of the Dead, pretty damn good, um, I was quite impressed with it, um, it was a blind buy, I didn't know nothing about it when I bought it, but I've got a thing for zombie movies now, so that's what I'll be focusing my DVD and Blu-ray purchases on lately. Uh, Day of the Dead, uh, fantastic. I have not, I believe this one is the remake. I haven't seen the original, but it's got Mina Savari in it. Uh, she plays an excellent role. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend that one. Dawn of the Dead remake. The Dead Girl. Um, I don't think this one's a horror. I think it's more of a thriller, but the only reason I put it with my horrors is because it's got dead in it, so. Dark Ride. Can't say much about that. Pretty shocking. Devil. Devil's Rock. Um, haven't seen this one. Deep Blue Sea. Dead Silence. I found that pretty freaky. And don't be afraid of the dark. That's it for my shelf number one instalment video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be more to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe.